Cindy Adder here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, yesterday? I can't remember. Yesterday, day before. I think it was the day before. Uh, Peg Robinson, uh, Vicki Brown, and I put a video on uh, the group AJOS. And we were talking about, you know, a calendar. Keeping a calendar throughout the year and keeping track of different things. And... You know, the more I thought about it, I thought, you know, I I want to call mine the yearbook. So that's what mine's going to be. I'm looking for a piece of paper. So here's the idea behind it. What we're talking about doing is putting, these are my thoughts on what to put in this year book, year journal. Um, quotes, pictures, thoughts, your art, travel, family. I do canning, gardening, um, you can even do things like doctor's appointments and, you know, your school activities if you have kids in school or, you know, whatever, your business lunch or whatever. However you want to do it, you can do it in your book. Now, Vicki has put out a video about how she's going to do her book, and I figured I'd show you mine. This is an old binder that um, someone had made for me a long time ago. I just gave it a refresh with some fabric covering. Um, this is the inside. There's pockets here, pockets here and here. Now, what I decided to do, this is the journal. This is one of my personal journals, okay? Um, I decided since I've already started doing that kind of stuff in my journal, I'm going to continue with this journal until this one is filled up. All this is is a composition notebook. I have taken every two pages and glued them together. I love putting washi on my outside. Here along the way I threw in some um, questions. I don't know if I'll do them or not. I may just erase them. Who knows? Depends on the mood I'm in. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this book. Now what it does is it just slides in here. I'm missing a page out of it, but that's okay. Slides in here. I intend to put things that I'm going to put in this journal here. Like, for example, I received this postcard from a friend. I'm going to stick it in this pocket. These are business cards from my sister's um, steampunk business. She does her, my niece, and my nephew um, do all these steampunk fairs up in New York. And they have some really, really cool stuff. It's called Seamstress & Co., and they're on Facebook if you would like to see what they do. Anyways, free advertisement for sister. Whatever, it works. These are some envelopes and some pieces of paper that I've gotten. Oh gosh, I don't even know where I got these from, from years ago. And I thought it would be kind of cool to either use these envelopes for something or to write myself a little letter if it's something I don't want publicly displayed throughout the year. Um, and then I can put it in these envelopes. And my thing is cockeyed. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, I thought maybe I'd use those. There's a lot of other things I want to incorporate with this journal, but I haven't got all my stuff together yet. I just wanted to show you the basics. Now, I do have another journal ready. Um, this one, I was going to start this one brand new, and I thought, you know, no, I'm not going to waste all this because I have quite a bit I can do right here. So I'm going to continue with this one. However, I'm going to start it in the style that we talked about on the video. Um, I do have another one ready. All this is, again, is a composition notebook. I went through. I glued every two pages together. It's no big deal. Um, for me, I don't care about the little wrinkles. Whatever. It just gives character to whatever I do to it. See, there's a little crease here. I don't care. Um, I started doing some of the washi tape, and then I got thinking about it, and I was like, you know, it would be really cool to do it by season or by um, you know, the days, like for example, have January and blue, which this is already done, so I can't, but you get my gift. Um, you know, maybe do May and yellow, you know, whatever, June and blue, whoever, however it works. But so this is my other one that I've got sitting on standby. 
And this is going to be, I don't need that, this is going to be the journal that I will be using. And again, I will be um, doing some more work on it. And, you know, I want to um, customize it here. I think it would be really cool to do. Um, just different ideas. I hope you guys really are excited about this. It's, you know, sometimes we'll sit back and we'll think, uh, I didn't do crap today. Well, you know what? Or I didn't do crap this week. If you look around, if you actually start writing down some of the stuff you've done or clipping a picture of something you like or even um, take a picture of a piece of art in progress, stick it in your book. You don't have to do something as big as this or as extreme as this. You don't have to do that. Um, you can do something just as simple as a little composition notebook, for example, right here. Oops. Can you tell I like composition notebooks? This one is actually one that I've been playing around just throwing some paint on. Um, another one. Playing around. More paint. Uh, and eventually I'll get around to making these into little art journals. But again, this is just a regular notebook. Um, lined notebook. You could use something like this to do. This one I was just playing around in, doing some patterns and whatever. But um, any type of little book like this you can use. You can use, um, like Vicki said, take some, you know, computer paper, fold it in half, put some hard cardstock on the outside and call it a day. I mean, there's, there's easier ways to do this um, so that you don't have to feel like you have a burden of doing a great big huge journal. Some people aren't journalers. I get it. What about doing... Um, you know, if you want to take 12 envelopes, you could take 12 envelopes. Maybe you want to stick some pictures in there or stick some notes in there of what you did that month or what you accomplished or, you know, things that made you happy or, you know, um, things you did with your family or maybe you traveled somewhere, any of that stuff. So anyways, I want to make this sweet and short and sweet. I just wanted to show you what my idea is. Um, this is actually going to come off my journal and go on this book somehow, but... So I wanted to show you what my idea was. I'm going to finish with the one I have, and then I'm going to start my new one. And I hope you guys will follow along. I mean, I don't. We don't plan on doing. At least I know I don't plan on doing daily journals of what's in our in our actual journals. My, I call it my yearbook. Um, but I will throughout the year throw, show you different things that I've done, and you know, see what you guys have done. We'd love to see what you have. So don't forget to share. All right. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day, and I will chat with you soon. See you later. Bye.